Hey, this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And tonight, I'm hoping to teach you a little bit of algebra. Well, actually, um, before I lose you, I was actually going to show you how to take a large soap mold and scale it down with a bar of soap and some hot glue gun um, to make a section that's smaller yet still is tall. Basically, how to use your large soap mold for a smaller batch. So I want to use a 20 ounce batch, I want to make a 20 ounce batch of soap, a sample. And uh, yesterday I made a, I made soap samples using these things, but I don't want to use those tonight. I want to use, um, I want to make tall, thin bars. So here's how I figure out where to place this as a barrier in the soap mold in order to um, fill up one section of it and have it become a tall, skinny bar of soap. Um, without making a, so I'm going to be using a, a 20 ounces of oil, 74 ounces of oil, and the mold is 20 inches. That's my ratio. So we want to figure out how many inches do I use here of this for 20 ounces. I think you can see that. That's the question. So to answer this question, the way I solve this question is I multiply this top number times this bottom number. So I get 20 times 20, which is going to be 400, equals, and you multiply this top number times the question mark, which if you were doing algebra, it would be an x, equals 74 of something, or x. So now we have 20 times 20. 20 times 20 equals 400. And on the other side, we have 74 times some mystery amount of inches, x. To solve this problem, you then have to take this, this side here, divide by 74, and divide this side by 74. So 400, this will give us the number of inches divided by 74 equals 5.4 inches. So we have x equals 5.4. Oops, can't write like this. Okay, 5.4. All right, so the next step would be, you can watch this over again if you're trying to figure this out, or send me questions and I'll try to explain some more. So I'm gonna take five, I'm gonna make it, call it five and a half inches, and go along here and figure out where five and a half inches is and mark it off right there. And I could do it on the other side too, five and a half. All right, so that's where I want to place my soap bar. You could use a piece of cardboard. This is just a piece of soap that I don't care for. Um, and I'm going to hot glue gun it right in there. I don't know if it's quite tall enough, but I think it's going to serve the purpose. Um, and you could also do this if the soap is not wrapped in plastic. I don't think it matters. All right, let's do this for our um, friends who use centimeters. All right, let's try it in centimeters. Um, I measure this here, and I get 30 plus 20. It's 50 centimeters. So I'm going to write down the length of my mold that I know how much oil I put in. So this is 50 centimeters. Over here, we're going to put length of mold. And then on the bottom, we're going to put down um, the number of ounces, or if you're doing it in grams, grams or kilos, down here, you would put the weight of the oils that you usually use for the full container. In my case, it's 74 ounces. Okay, I don't work in metric for that, but you could if you wanted. All right, so that's what we have so far. And then we want to figure out this number up here. This is new length of the mold that we want based on the new amount of oil. The new amount of oil for your sample is going to go here. It might vary depending on how many ounces you're testing out. If you're testing out a two ounce batch of uh, fragrance oil or you're only using 20 ounces of oils like I am, then you're going to put that here. And then you're going to do the cross multiplying. So um, we'll start out by doing 50 
times 20, 50 times 20 equals 74x. 74x. To be all proper, you should put in all your units, your centimeters times ounces, your ounces times centimeters, but this is a soap making thing. So um, we're gonna, just trust me on this, just make sure you have ounces or grams on the bottom and centimeters or inches on the top. Keep them the same, ounce, ounce, centimeter, centimeter. Okay, um, clear this, do some math for you. We have 50 times 20 equals 1,000. 1,000 equals 74x. Divide both sides by 74 to get the x by itself. 7, 4, divide by 7, 4. I'm going to take my calculator and take, this is going to be, our, our answer is going to be centimeters. You have to put the top number in first, 1,000 divided by 74 equals. So it's going to be 13.5 centimeters. V's cross out and x equals 13.5 centimeters. All right, that's how you do the math. Um, now let's do some gluing. I know that's not the easiest of math. It's a little bit of algebra, which I love, but not everybody does. All right, I have my hot glue gun here, and I'm going to attempt to hot glue gun this um, right at the location. So I'm going to stick hot glue on here on this side and on the bottom and slide it in in the correct position. Bring it down to see what it looks like. So I have a gap on the one side so I'm just going to take this and fill in the gap. Keep filling. Shake it right in. I need to get to let this heat up a little bit more. Fill in that gap right there. I've done this before in a different video. I think it was last year. All right, how's that look? It's almost secure. All right, I um I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this heat up one more stick of glue and shoot it from the other side, and then you'll know that that's what we're gonna use. My glue gun keeps falling over. Um, yeah, that's nice and secure. Okay, that's gonna work, and I'm gonna put my um, soap batter into this side right here. All right, I have one more idea here. I want to do one with uh, a box in case you don't have a spare piece of soap that you can put in here. This is a Ziploc or a slider bag um, type soap uh, box that happens to fit just perfectly in here and I'm going to do this at the other end so if I wanted to run two of them at once I could put one sample down here and one down the other end. However if I do it this way this middle section is really not usable. Okay I'm okay with that. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to run glue along the bottom there and then along the sides if I can get it to go up along this side and down this side and now I'm going to stick this right in here Right at the correct mark. Squeeze it together a little bit. Oh, I think that's beautiful. All right. I think that's going to work. I hope I didn't cover you up with my hair too much. And uh, now I have two sides that I could work with. This one here. And this one over here. All right. I think that'll do it. That gives you two options. Thanks for watching.